Hi, I'm Sir Classy, and on this tutorial, I'll show you how to master a song from scratch in FL Studio. I'll be using the default plugins and show you that you can get a very good master track using the default FL Studio stock plugins. Hit the subscribe button for more tutorials every day. Now, let's get started. In here, I have my track already well mixed. Please ensure your songs are well mixed. Now, when you're matching a track, you don't necessarily need to set the tempo because you're not adding any time-based effects. You're not adding reverb, you're not adding delay, you're not adding um, phaser, no time-based effects. While only, while only adding filters and dynamic effects. So, we'll link the track. Do not link the track to the master track. Link it to an insert track instead. Then go to your master track and turn off your limiter we do not need the limiter on while mastering so listen to the track to hear how it sounds before we get started now let's listen So that's how the song sounds well mixed so now we we'll go to the master track already linked sorry we we'll go to the mixer track already linked the first thing we do we add an equalizer now what, what we're going to do with equalizer is we're going to take away some low end and do some um because it, it sounds a bit too sharp in the high end then we'll do some um dance in the high end to take off a little bit of high and roll off then we'll see what changes again we need to do with the eq before we move on to the next effect and remember you need it to be slight changes we don't need drastic changes with the eq or any effect you're going to be using on your master channel we need it to be slight and moderate so let's get started out a little bit of um the about 1.2 kilohertz just took just about less than about one to two db out so that the vocals can sink a little bit more into the beats because the vocal was a bit um right or like was a bit above the beat so i, went, I needed it to, to sit properly in the beat so i took out about one to two decibel i think about 1.5 decibel to be exact just took just a little loud and it sounds a whole lot better now you can see I took out just a little roll off in the in the low frequency. Remember when you're doing this, you don't want it to sound too obvious. Just a little is enough. Same with the high frequency, a little is enough. Then what next we'll add is a compressor. We'll look for a compressor under the dynamics. Um, yes, fruity compressor. So now you add the compressor. Make sure your compressor is very. It's almost transparent. We just need it to tame a little bit of the um, peaks and. Um, so that we just sound a little bit more level before we send it into maybe a space a special separator plugin and all of that or even the limiters so we need it to be a little bit more controlled so we're going to adjust a little bit of compression um let's say the attack let's make the attack a bit slower yes then the release also then the ratio about five about 4.9 let's say about four between four to five is okay somewhere around here we can adjust later on so reduce the threshold to somewhere around here then we we'll listen and then we adjust accordingly
do not um do so much compression that it takes out the low end or also with eq do not do so much eq that it takes out the low end or the body of the mix you just do so slightly to have the frequency and the dynamics under control and then you move on to the next stage so what we're going to do next is we're going to do a little bit of stereo separation now one of the reasons why i like using fl studio to master is i can just easily do that on the um channel um line here like for example on this button here this here means separated this here means merged so i just want a little bit of separation just somewhere around let's say 10 percent separation and that will be fine and then next we can use our limiter now we can use our limiter now a lot of people think mastering is just all about making the song loud now there's a lot you can do the during the mastering stage you can even use to perfect a mix but do not add reverb compression phaser or any um effects that are not either filters or um dynamics effect to your master channel we just need to play with the frequency and the thresholds basically that's all we're playing with in the mastering stage so now um for the limiter the ceiling simply means now different limiters have different um looks but for, F for fl studio the ceiling simply means kind of like the threshold where to start um working where to like kind of like compressor knob where to start working now we need the threshold to be a bit all the way up and then we take the gain also to somewhere around here and then we listen now while it's being loud why it's loud make sure that it's not distorting make sure it's not turning red here and make sure it's not clipping on the um channel line here on this meter bus here so let's listen sounds a whole lot louder a whole lot cleaner clearer so when you are having a distorted feel when you're making it too loud that means there's some either it's an issue wrong with your eq or you're making the uh, over pushing the limiter so make sure the um song does not sound even if it's not showing red on your um display meter or your, or your mix boss make sure it doesn't have that distorted sound feel like kind of like when i see the speaker wants to like tear apart make sure it's not it's not sounding that way you need to sound as crystal clear as possible even if you're trying to make it loud and also do not make it over loud because when when you upload it to um youtube and other streaming platforms they try to add their normalizer to it to make it a bit louder than um how you initially put the levels at so you need to create room for your streaming platforms to do their own um um normalizing or normalization while um people are streaming through those platforms so i had to take down the gain a little bit even though it was fine somewhere around here before but to take it down because of those streaming platforms that tend to normalize tracks so this is also a safe place to put it another thing you can do another hack you can use to get past um loudness levels is compare it with a song in the same genre that was mixed by a pro or a a trending song that is you know you know it's well mixed it's well mastered by pros so you can compare your master to those and see how the loudness even if it's not at the same level but it should be within the same range of loudness by listening do not drag it into your fl studio to compare because when you do that you are um it's some it's not it's just not be on par so you listen to it on your audio player and your pc make sure the volumes are the loudest on your pc then you listen to it on your fl studio and you compare the loudness level then when they are at similar um loudness levels then that's fine and also know that bass heavy tracks are usually not as loud as tracks that do not have bass so if your track is filled with lots of bass deep bars know that it's not be it's not be as loud as tracks that do not have bass elements in them so yeah that's pretty much how to master your song from scratch in fl studio i have courses on udemy that explain how to master your songs in depth i have courses that explain how to mix also if you have a problem with mixing i also have courses that also teach you how to make beats like a pro all these courses start from scratch and explain the complete process from start to finish so you're not left stranded at any point from start to finish and they also have resource files where you can download the stems and practice 
if you check my description below, I also have free sample packs, free kits, free loops, free MIDI um, packs that you can download and make incredible music, all high quality. Check out my website, sirclassy.com. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you enjoy this content. I upload tutorials every week, at least three videos a week. I remain Sir Classy. Cheers.